Thanks to Sunbird for sponsoring today's video. It is gift giving season. So if you're looking for a gift which is versatile and that keeps giving year round, Scentbird has the answer for you. So Scentbird is a fragrance subscription which gives you the opportunity to shop from over 600 brands. And as it's a flexible subscription, you can always skip a month without penalty. You can also simply choose between a three, six, or 12 month subscription. So Scentbird offers you the option to try different scents each month with a 30 day supply, which is a very, very generous serving. And as they have perfumes, colognes, and unisex options, really you can always get to choose what you want. They also have a really large number of fan favorite scents such as Gucci, Dolce & Gabbana, and so many other brands and designers. For example, this month I got Signed by Mercedes-Benz, which definitely is a very business smell. I got Misfit by Arquist, which is definitely a good scent for making a statement. And last, I got Mason Sabarit, which is by Amber Gaze, which is very, very floral, very fresh and citrusy. The bottles are also super sleek. You can just pop the fragrances in and out as you please as well. But it doesn't just have to be a gift you don't have to commit to buying a full bottle either. You can just try a scent for 30 days with Scentbird, starting only $16 a month. However, you can use my code JOEL2 to get 30% off your first month of Scentbird. There, you're only paying $11 a month. So like I said, use that code JOEL2, click that link down below, guys. Scentbird is now also available in Canada and the United States. So get started today, click that link, and at that, let's get to the rest of the video. Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we are going to be in Winter Park, Florida, or essentially like Orlando, Florida, here doing the challenge at the Hungry Bison. So this challenge consists of a very large burger, which has like a short rib patty, it is a bison patty, and it has an Italian sausage patty, which is pretty cool. There's also jalapenos, there's bacon, cheese, and all like onion rings, and you know, all kinds of good stuff on the burger. And then you are served with a large order of their kind of house fries. Um, there's actually no time limit for this challenge. Um, it's just like a one seating completion, and if you win, you get a sweet t-shirt. Uh, the meal is $30 regardless, win or lose, but nonetheless, it sounds really good. I love bison, I love short rib, very, very good. So I'm excited for this burger. Um, I'm actually meeting up today with my good friend, Mr. Uh, Corbucci Eats, Ricardo Corbucci. Uh, if you're not familiar, he's an eater from Brazil. So it's cool that, you know, me being from up north and being from south, uh, we can kind of meet in the middle at Orlando. So uh, let's go have some fun, let's eat some food, and uh, that'll be about it. So I'll get you some more info if there is any, and uh, let's go figure out details. Let's go eat. Alrighty, once we're here right with the challenges, and of course, Mr. Corbucci himself. Uh, if you're not familiar with him, definitely check him out. Great eater, coming all the way from Brazil. Brazil is a great country, love it down there. And uh, here we are both in America. So two foreigners, eat some American food, no complaints about that. So here we are again in front of us. Again, we have the three different patties, bison, short rib, Italian sausage, we have onion rings, some veggies up here, and then a lot of fries. Um, again, no time limit, just one seating. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get it done. The record is about 15 and a half minutes by Mr. Randy Santel. I think uh, I think we're gonna, this guy's gonna crush it right here, I'll tell you that much. Definitely, uh, I don't know Randy, let's see, let's see. But uh, at that, too. Yeah, yeah. But at that, looks really delicious. Um, grilled cheese buns, so that's about it. We're gonna start here momentarily and uh, it's food. Do you wanna say anything in Portuguese? Portuguese. Galera, estou muito feliz de estar aqui fazendo esse desafio. É, quem não conhece meu canal, tá lá com o Butiz. Muito obrigado, Joe. Thank you. Hey, my pleasure. Obrigado. There you go. A little bit of Portuguese for anybody out there. Here we are. We'll say it again. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Okay, so let's get eating. That is tasty. Very, very good. Yeah, it's helping you. This tastes fantastic. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here in Orlando, Florida at the Hangry Bison. Yes, technically I guess Winter Park is what it's considered, but basically Orlando, Florida. Which one? Winter, winter one. Very good. This is the sausage before I think I had the bison. Mm. I can feel the jalapeno. Yeah. Spicy? Mm hmm. And here we are doing the Hangry Bison Burger Challenge. So this is a pay for play. You do pay the about $30 regardless. I just say spicy for it. Pick country. But you do get a free t-shirt and if you complete it, again there is no time limit, it's just a one seating time limit. Um, that being said, very very delicious. And I, I really, you do get your money's worth with this challenge. Actually maybe this is the bison? Whatever it is, it's very 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 delicious. Mm. It's amazing. 
really. You know why I don't eat something so good? The burger. Excuse me, I inhaled it. Yeah, the burger is very delicious. So the food quality was absolutely exceptional. The short rib patty, the bison patty, the Italian sausage patty were all very, very delicious. It was the short rib patty that I was referring to, the first one I had. It was so tender, so meaty, just so succulent, had those great deep beef flavors. Um, we did get them cooked uh, about like a rare, medium rare, um, so like that uh, patty definitely held its very bright pink colors, but it was so, so, so delicious. Got some bacon. Jalapenos. I'm gonna start working on a few of these fries. They have lots of ketchup. I do love ketchup. How are you doing there, my friend? Good. I hate fries. So it was great to meet up with Mr. Corbucci again. We had met up in 2019, uh, so it had been a couple years, and uh, as he was in the area, it was great to actually meet up and do this challenge together. Um, the first challenge we did was actually a burger challenge, and here's the second challenge, and we had one more coming as well, so definitely keep an eye out for that challenge. Fritz? Fritz? How do you say fries and uh, fritas. 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 <laughs> As we mentioned, the record was about 15 minutes by Mr. Randy Santel. Um, you know, not that we were really racing to beat that or anything, we just wanted to kind of just eat this as uh, we were hoping to get on and do another challenge after this. Um, I will say the fries were also very delicious here and the staff were really great. I have to give a huge thank you to everybody. Um, they were very uh, hosting, very uh, welcoming of us and of the challenge and that's what is, makes an experience enjoyable. It's great when you know the staff and the restaurant are excited about the challenge and they're excited when people eat their food, eat their burgers, because they're proud of it. And they're definitely proud of their food here. And they definitely, uh, you know, offered a great experience. And uh, like I said, at the table, we had no complaints in regards to the taste or quality. Everything was very, very, very good. I remember ketchup in Brazil being a little different. Uh, when I was down there, it just, just tastes a little different. But it's probably just maybe what you grow up with, maybe familiar with. This ketchup seems a little uh, sweet. I agree. The ketchup I had in Brazil was a little bit more just like blended tomatoes. Yeah. This seems a lot more fake, let's be honest. <laughs> There were some jalapenos on the burgers, as well as some onion rings, some bacon, so like a couple different interesting ingredients. It was a grilled cheese sandwich for the buns, which was made out of actually just like a burger bun, but they were like fried it with cheese in the middle. So basically you got extra buns, extra cheese. Uh, the jalapenos were like fresh jalapenos. So if you kind of got like an unexpected bite, there was a little bit of heat with it, um, but nothing too, too, too extreme. Um, and yeah, pretty much that was about it. Like it's a pretty straightforward challenge, pretty straightforward burger challenge. Uh, that being said, like I said, we uh, were definitely enjoying it at this point. Um, let me know down below what you think of this burger. Like, have you ever had a bison burger before? Or, or maybe would you try one? Um, I, I would say it was good. I really liked it, actually. So comment down below what you think of this burger. Let me know if you try a bison burger. And uh, at that, ultimately, I'll let you get to the rest of the video where hopefully, hopefully we can both get that win. So let's tune in and let's see what happens. We're just over five and a half minutes in. We're both killing it. I'm gonna get rid of some of these buns. We're both coming in well under that 15 minute record. Even the buns are good, are tasty. I like the bacon.
7. Yeah, well. So finished up at 707, we both got a record there. Um, so it's very, very delicious. Huge thanks, Mr. Corbucci. Delicious, man. Thank you. Did you like it? Yes, it was very, even the fries I usually don't like, they were very tasty. They're crunchy and yeah, they're not like, very salty. You know? I think they have like a little bit of a seasoning on them. You find a little seasoning on them, like a uh -huh. the flavor. Yeah, and definitely kind of like a homemade fry, it seemed very delicious. I gotta say that burger. I don't know the short rib patty, the bison patty, I think maybe it was the short rib. Man, that was delicious. Yeah, the, the burger was fantastic. The Italian sausage patty was really cool to have as well. Um, but yeah, very, very much enjoyed it. It was very delicious. So if you're up in the area, definitely not hangry. Bison, stop on by. Try some of a bison burger, you know? It's uh, it, 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 it's quite similar to beef, I'd say, but that short rib burger, anything was very, very delicious. But uh, yeah, that for that, uh, basically we do get a t-shirt. Again, the meal is uh, basically 28 or 29 $30 regardless. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. Huge thanks again to Mr. Corbucci here. It's great to meet up, but well, we got to, and uh, we're gonna have some more eating as well. So, with that, any words, my friend? Thank you, I'm very happy to do this challenge with you. We have another one now, all right? Yeah, so now we gotta go eat dessert. The next one that has dessert, so stay tuned. Let's just say it's uh, gonna be a little hard and rock and roll and eat. We'll be some fun, so appreciate it, man. Thank you. Awesome, with that, everybody, until next time, uh, we're say, we'll see you shortly. Happy eating. by the Harry Potter. This is Hogsmeade. It's uh, like a winter -y village. People come from all over to see these sites. Here we have some more castles. I'm not sure which castle that is, but also of some pigs. And this is one of the rides. I think this is the, uh, I'm not sure which ride this is, but one of them. Some do with a griffin though. There it is right there. Is that Hogwarts? Is that Hogwarts? Yeah, some. There we go. Hogsmeade, Hogwarts. There's all the flags. Harry Potter World. And here we are in the middle of Hogsmeade. We have all the different shops. A lot of these are obviously uh, very important to the story. Headgear and I imagine that's homemade sweets. Very impressive, very busy. Butterbeer stops, which the lineups are usually long for. Definitely pretty crazy. Like people come all over the world just for this Hogwarts or Hogsmeade, Harry Potter section. So pretty impressive. Here we have the biting book. The danger. Book may bite. And it does move. He was very aggressive a second ago. He was freaking out. Let's see if, let's see if he'll do it again. There you go, he doesn't like my finger. And we're going into Hogwarts. You buy your merch. And apparently it's very dark in Hogwarts here. And here is the talking hat. Who was talking a minute ago? Sorting hat, there you go. There you go. And we're in Hogwarts. It's very dark in Hogwarts. The children must be nocturnal here at Hogwarts. All right, so when it comes to Harry Potter rides, we did the Hagrid's one, which was definitely very enjoyable. We really enjoyed that. That's a must do. Uh, we actually 
Right now they're using like a virtual kind of booking reservation thing. I actually signed up for another one. Will we use it? We'll find out. We went in the um, Escape from Hogwarts or something thing. That was like a 3D ride, 4D ride. That was uh, maybe a little nauseous, a lot of twists and turns. Here we are trying to ride a Hippogriff, which is like that right there. It's like a uh, bird, lion thing. This is uh, known as a child's ride, but it looks pretty good. And that's about that. I'm trying to recover from that uh, nauseous escaping from Hogwarts ride. That was, that did me dirty, but uh, Hogwarts. And here we are entering Jurassic Park. So this one, they got some new rides. This is a lot of um, like more recent after like the new Jurassic Park movies. For example, they have a big Velociraptor um, ride, which is a roller coaster. Then they have a whole bunch of other things. Of course, they have it all kind of themed up. Like here we got the watering hole and Jurassic Park popcorn. And they're selling some turkey legs, lots of people with turkey legs around. Smell pretty good. Nothing wrong with a good old turkey leg. And uh, there's the Velocicoaster. Velocoaster. And momentarily, this will be us. Yeah, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a good one. And there's a good drop. Here we got a Velociraptor. So here we are in the more comic area. We have Poop Deck Patties. This is from like Popeyes. They have like, I don't even know what those are. Ferals, Weasels, Gasoline Alley, Beetle Bailey, Blondies, we got big restaurants, stuff. Comic Strip Cafe. So yeah, definitely cool. And then these are like the old comic books. Not like the, uh, you know, like, like this guy, like Dennis the